Hey everyone. Since so many of today's films are either continuations of franchises or reboots of some kind, I wanted to go back and rewatch Alien starring Sigourney Weaver. Alien is one of the most iconic science fiction films to grace the silver screen and it has given rise to half a dozen films in the Alien franchise with the latest edition coming out later this year. I think it's Alien Romulus. So there really is no better time to look back at the film that started it all and inspired so many others. First, if you like this review, please do give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much. So, all right, let's get into it. Alien, the OG of the franchise, has captured our imagination and continues to keep going strong. Since this film is a classic, I will be dropping the occasional spoiler. The crew of the commercial spaceship is on its way home with the a full payload, but the ship wakes them up early because it has received a strange signal that the crew believes is an SOS and is obliged to investigate. Instead of a human ship in trouble, they find a crashed alien ship with a strange life form on board. Through a series of disagreements and mistakes, they bring the alien on board only to realize that they have made a grave mistake that could not only cost them their own lives, but could, I don't know, put humanity itself in danger. All things alien flow from this film, from the pacing to the cinematography, to the artistic style of the sets and scenery of all the films. You really do get a sense of the universe in which this particularly nasty alien derives. It's all there as seeds for the rest of the franchise to kind of pick up and plant. I am so impressed with this film looking back. Clearly, the movie holds up to modern standards. And if you have never seen any of the Alien prequels or sequels, and if you weren't really all that versed on space horror or futuristic monster horror, this film would be downright terrifying. Honestly, there are still moments of it that are kind of creepy and scary. I think the only places that Alien falls short today is that a modern audience is actually pretty familiar with the genre and the slow pace of the first half of the film might feel a little too slow for some people. However, it's the setup in the opener that establishes everything we need to know about the universe, the characters, and the problem that they have to solve. That setup translates through to all of the other films as well. Once we are introduced to the alien in its embryonic egg-like state, the pacing picks up bit by bit by bit in a masterful way that mirrors your own building anxiety as we are introduced to the alien itself and what it means for the crew. The only thing that stands out as a problem, and this is something that's been an issue for me for many years, is how did the alien grow so big, so fast? Its mass and its density increased exponentially without any clear indication of where the materials or nutrients came from because the alien doesn't consume the humans. It just kills them in the first movie. So what does it eat? What does it consume? How does it grow so large so quickly? These are the questions that I would have loved that they answered in the first film itself. But the novelization of the film, if I remember correctly, does mention that they consume corpses and inorganic material. Still, Nobody gets consumed in Alien, and there's no discovery of strange materials being missing. Um, so it's really never made clear how the alien grows so fast in this first film. So it's still a bit of a plot hole in the cinematic universe because not everyone reads the books. The technology in the film is great. It's reminiscent of what we imagined future technology would look like. And the stylistic design of the ship is 
actually so well done that it's easy to let your mind just kind of gloss over those rough spots in the tech because it feels real enough in this context and it doesn't get in the way of the story. There are three memorable characters in the film. Ellen Ripley, played by Sigourney Weaver, Ash the Robot, played by Ian Holm, and of course, the alien, played by everyone's favorite xenomorph. There were other characters. Yes, there were other characters, and all of those actors did a fantastic job with their roles as well. But for the purpose of the franchise, they kind of fade from memory. Sigourney Weaver is iconic in this role. She is smart and savvy as the third officer of the ship. And there's never a moment in the film where social issues painted her as a woman in a man's role. I think this is why Ellen Ripley is such an iconic character. She's not a girl boss by today's standards. She basically defies all of today's expectations and norms about how women should be and how hard it is to be a woman. You know, she just simply is a qualified and great officer who's doing a great job on board her ship without gender ever coming into play with this role. I would love to see more modern films look back to Ellen Ripley as an example of how to create a strong, capable, and compelling female character who fits seamlessly into her story world. Ash the Robot was such a surprise. At the time the film was made in 1979, that was a revolutionary character reveal. And even today, 45 years later, the way the character is written, the way Ian Holm plays him is spot on, creating an almost shocking character reveal, even when you know it's coming. That is an example of great character development and acting. Now, let's talk about the alien. The xenomorph was, and frankly still is, terrifying. I have got to believe that it came straight out of somebody's nightmare because everything about it is still uncomfortable and terrifying. From the shape of its head to its body, the dual mandibles, the spider-like implantation creature, all of it. Over the years, a lot of scary creatures have come out of FX labs but few have sustained the level of fear and fascination inspired by the Xenomorph. It's a classic movie monster that is the backbone of the Alien franchise's success. There's a reason that Alien continues to stand as a near timeless classic in the space and horror genres. From top to bottom, this film is a masterclass in how to write, film, direct, and produce a movie that doesn't have an expiration date attached to it. If you haven't had a chance to watch it yet, I highly recommend it. If you've watched it, it's always a great choice to do a rewatch. The film is rated R and will likely be scary for younger audiences and kids, so you should use discretion if you're watching it with your family. So, Alien, have you seen the original 1979 film. What did you think? Does it still hold up for you? Or does the slow, methodical start feel a bit outdated? What do you think about the other films in the franchise? Do they measure up to the original? I'd love to know what you think. So definitely drop a comment below. Thanks so much, everybody. If you like this review, please do give it a thumbs up and you will make my day. Also, be sure to hit subscribe for more videos and let me know that you're out there. Thank you so much. For now, happy viewing, and I will see you again soon. Bye.